Good morning. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it's still morning. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, November 6th. Um, had an appointment this morning when Garth took care of that. It is now 9.20 in the a.m. I'm going to walk inside and grab some breakfast at Denny's before we hit the road. We'll pick us load up, go to Noonan, Georgia. Should be there tomorrow sometime, probably, depending on how long it takes them to load us. But I, I'm, I'm working with some audio settings on this microphone, so bear with me. But I do want to show you something. I did a test with this. This is the, uh, I'm recording on the, uh, on the uh, DJI Osmos now. I want to show you something. There's going to be a couple first-time evers on this channel today. The first first-time ever... I've always recording on this. So you've ever, you've never seen my phone. Never. Never, because I can't record my phone from my phone, right? Samsung Galaxy 20 S23 Ultra with the Otter Box. Otter, Otter Box. You've never seen it. So there's a first. <laughs> um, so that's it. Let's go, let's go get some breakfast and then um, we'll come back, do pre-trip, get this day started. Man, do you see that breakfast? Whew. I'll tell you, the Denny's here in the New Caney, it rarely misses. I mean, I think I may have had maybe one or two. Not even know. I don't think this place has ever missed. See that breakfast? That big ultimate omelet? I've adjusted the gain on the microphone because I'm trying to, I feel like the last clip was a little too high. And I'm looking at the meter on my, uh, across the top of my uh, display screen. So I got my, my mic set right here. I figure that's where it'll be. So I'm looking for the best balance that I can get. Now, just because I have this doesn't mean I won't be using footage on my cam for my phone from time to time. Like that breakfast footage you just saw, that was on my camera, on my phone. So I didn't carry this in. Um, but since I'm doing 4K, which by the way is the second first on this channel, first one was you actually seeing my phone. I mean, physically, nothing to brag about, but you know what? New gear. Number two is 4K videos. Now, I do understand not a lot of, not a lot of internet can handle 4K videos. But that's why YouTube has a, a setting quality setting adjustment so you can just adjust it to where it plays well for you see so yeah, our quality should be better frame rate should be much better and uh, just the overall content i can get different angles and such hey look at that i get an email while i'm uh or text oh that's just capital one saying hey i used their credit card when i bought breakfast oh the email it's just capital one saying i used their daggone credit card for breakfast Oh, and the uh, Capital One from the app notification. Oh, just saying, hey, I just spent $28.64 at Denny's. Yes, I did. Really, really good breakfast. Oh, all right, so now it's 1020. I was in there bullshit with a you know, few old guys around the bar. We, you know, If you don't want to wait to be seated, go to the bar. And it's usually us old farts there. You know, we're talking about how the country is now red. Everybody feels like they're relaxed. We still got a couple months before this new election takes place don't get relaxed because you don't never know what's going to happen but that's not what we're here about I, everybody pulls through they pull for i don't knock anybody you do what you feel is you believe in your heart is best for the country here i am smacking a microphone holy crap i got freaking hash brown crumbs on my damn bibs how did that last the whole way here <laughs> from the walk to the truck all right, anyway, let's get pre-trip done and get on down the road. Let's get this day started. Cause we got, we got, we got, we got a fresh avenue. We got a fresh clock. We got to make some money. Well, the pre-trip is done. Destination's in the GPS. Twenty-six point three miles away from my current location. Live load. Open window from today, eight a.m. to the day fifteen hundred. Seven hundred and seventy miles to drop off. 
We should be there tomorrow afternoon. We'll look for a load later on, just to have once we confirm more of what time we'll get there. But first, we gotta get fuel. We gotta fill this thing up. Cool thing about this crater kit, come in a little tripod too. Like I said more angles, but you know for sure what real life trucking's all about. And I'm this far from the camera, you should be able to hear me just fine, me and my big old boy ass. How you doing, buddy? Make sure your mirrors and windows, make sure all your glasses are clean. You got to see to be safe. You got to see to be safe, y'all. <clears throat> Thought I just went through my head. What if I happen to walk off and forget my damn camera in a position like that at one time? That would suck. Or if some oh shit. Or if somebody just comes by, decides they want to grab it and run. Well, you know, that's a fat guy. He can't catch me. Huh? They'd be right. The driver's side mirrors are fine. <clears throat> Hood mirrors are fine. Although I do got soapy residue going down my door. Feel still pumping. I guess we'll do something like KO does. Since I am getting it for like 270. I'm gonna pump the pennies in. couple pumps anyway that's done I went more than I usually do when it comes to clicking this 
think it's cool, man. I don't care what you say. All right, a couple of clicks is good. How much did we get in diesel? Right there is what we got in diesel. Pump prices over here. Three twenty-six. We get forty cents off. All right, you see that? See how slow that is going? That is why we will not fill up our death right here. So I'm here, went inside to check in. They asked for my pickup number. I told him. He said, you know what? That I was picked up yesterday. He said the driver came in, didn't have a load number, so he called Schneider, and Schneider gave him my load number. But he said, well, I have another load here. He said, well, Snyder is pretty specific when it comes to these things, so let me give him a call. He said, by the way, what's that load number you're offering to give me? Same load, going to the same location. So I call him. So being on hold for about 15 minutes. Sorry, I'm aggravated. I'm trying to hold it in. Um, they said, well, there's a driver almost there for that load. I'm like, okay. Let me get a VNU, 150 bucks. I'll try to find something else, and I was just looking while I was on hold. Tomorrow morning is about the earliest I'm going to grab something, looks like. So, whatever it is, what it is, right? Matter of fact, I can do this now. Let's look for, let's go, and i got to wait until they, uh, I can't do anything until they get this load off of me, or until they set this up for a VNU. But I can do a search from Houston, Texas, confirmed and search. Um, Houston to Alachua, Florida, thirteen hundred and sixty dollars. I could be there Friday. Let me favor that just in case. Houston to Seymour, Indiana. Longer trip, less money, less pay. Another one, Houston to Alachua, or Alachua, depending on tomato, tomato. That was for 11 o'clock tomorrow. 500 pounds is what it says. Houston to Hopkinsville, Kentucky, 500 pounder. That might be the better place to go, actually. It's, uh, I know Hawkinsville, it's at Walmart. Getting an empty out of that Walmart is going to be something in itself. That's tomorrow at 3 o'clock. But it does get me back up in the Midwest, which I really don't want to be because well, it's not winter yet, so. Hmm. It's $1.42 a mile. The latch was like a dollar fifty-four a mile, but I know coming out of Florida is going to be hard as hell to get anything. Without deadheading five hundred miles or whatever. Here's one Pasadena, Texas to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. It's dollar twenty-six a mile, but I can. It's eight hundred sixty dollars. The Alachua one just not worth because I know I can't get nothing to follow it up. Seymour, Indiana, it's just really not worth because buck twenty seven a mile, buck twenty seven a mile, thirteen hundred dollars in two days, about sixty six fifty average. Brutal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and once they clear this out, I'm gonna go ahead and book the Houston to live load as well. I'm probably going to book that one to Hopkinsville. It'll be like a, most likely, well, since it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, odds are it'll be, what is it? Details, unknown freight, of course. Oh, looks like my, my NAT's been updated. All 
right, so let me do this. All right, I got me back in Temple. I'm good favorites. Let me get rid of the Alachua one. Oh, mm, let me go back to search. Sorry, you're going to hear more of me since I can do multiple things. This, this is just something that you need to look to see what we're doing. I'm not here on the fly right now. I'm at a shipper that I lost my load. I'll get a VNU for. Your active work assignment has been withdrawn. See, look at there. They took it off of me, but they, but they put me back a temple. They should have left me right here. Let me do this. What if I go back to my truck stop? Pass the duty to Memphis. Let's see if they increase that. Hmm. I'd like to have an earlier one. Alachua. Okay, let me just favor that real quick. Let me do a search out of Alachua. A L A C H U A. Nope, there we go. And in Florida. Let's do 150 mile. Let's go 200 miles. 200 mile search. And let's look for something for Friday. Friday, Saturday. Jackson, uh, New Albany. Uh, Salacho is not too deep. It really isn't. It's just right down 75 a little bit. Friday, Fort Pierce to Lakeland. I'm not going further in Florida. Brooksville to Bart. Nope. Ain't going to happen Friday, Friday. Here's a 1600. Anderson. St. Andersonville, Georgia to St. Paul. Park, Minnesota. Seventeen hundred, but it's dollar thirty-three a mile if you're there. But dollar fifteen a mile, cause I won't be. Now here's one from Jacksonville back to Houston for the weekend uh, on Friday afternoon. It's only a dollar twelve a mile. Forty-four thousand two hundred thirty-four pounds. It's going to be every bit of that forty-four thousand two hundred thirty-four pounds. Here's one from Orlando, Florida to Frederick, Maryland for a buck eleven a mile. Twenty-five thousand pounds though. That's on Friday. Before eleven thirty at night. Hmm. Mariana, Florida, Reading, PA, fifteen hundred. Buck twenty two a mile. Forty two thousand pounds. Friday. 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. 170, 180 miles from where I drop off. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm going back to the truck stop. I'll figure out loads later. All right, well, I just went ahead and booked the Alachua, Florida load. I'm here at the back of the truck stop, and it's for 11 o'clock tomorrow. Be there Friday. And there's one I'm still I'm still debating on grabbing maybe grabbing that Friday afternoon Jacksonville back to Houston. Come to be back here by Sunday. So if I book those two loads together, it'll be twenty five hundred total. Thursday, Friday, so it's four days, six twenty a day. It's low, but. I don't know. I'm, if that Jacksonville is still up there later on, by tomorrow, I'll probably grab it, even though it's a buck twenty-one a mile. You gotta understand, guys. We you can say, "Oh, cheap freight, your problem, your fault." You know what? Listen, I'm on a Snyder board. I, there's no negotiation with a Snyder board. Price is what the price is. Nothing you can do about it. And we got to keep running. We have to. You ha number one rule when you're in your in trucking, you have to keep those wheels moving. You got to keep running. And, Yeah, because I'm no longer in Temple. So the Alachua load I'm picking up for tomorrow is going to Walmart in Alachua. It's here in Houston. I'm like 30 miles from it. I was right on top of it, apparently. But let me look at the uh, details of the trip now that I have it. Pick Stop up. Temple TX has been removed on your active work assignment.
Port Northwest Suite 150. Okay, whatever. VLC distribution. 28 miles that way. Or that way, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I, I, like I was saying, I wasn't always having that mindset to keep the wheels moving. I was very, very particular and picky about what I get. And I try to be as picky as I can now. But at the same time, I, I know I have to keep the wheels moving. I have to keep the wheels turning. I have to keep earning. So you do what you have to do, right? And even I was even considering going back up north a little bit. But those rates, we'll see what it's like tomorrow when, I, when, I, when I'm in the dock. I'll look and uh, see what's updated. Or I'll, I'll continue to look through the day as well. But while I'm here, um, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it a little bit. I got some, you know, the live show we do that we've been doing on Fridays. We did, we did it this past Sunday because Friday wouldn't have, didn't happen. Uh, we decided then, though, we're going to go ahead and start doing the live. The live stream is going to be on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That's when all three of us have committed to be on the, to do the show. So Sunday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is where it's going to be the show. We're going to be uh, multi-broadcasting. Whoever's in the chat can broadcast to the channel. Of course, I'll be broadcasting on my channel. James will be on his channel. And whoever else is in there, and if they have the ability to broadcast, they will broadcast as well. They, they'll have that option. So... Uh, multimedia streaming is a good thing. It brings in different perspectives. And, and what we learned this past week of learning the, uh, the program is it condenses all the chat from all those collected streams into one master chat. So uh, we can all see them from just looking at in a stream yard versus having four different stream channels open on our, on our, uh, on our devices or on a screen or whatever. So that's good. But with that said, we even named it. Hmm. Yeah, we're calling it the shit show. And I'm working on graphics for it. I'm working on, uh, I have an idea in mind that I want to implement, and I'm working on it. I just need to get a couple, uh, one more element, and I'm going to, so that's what I'm going to do while I'm here. I'm going to work on that and see how far I can get with it. And just, I say enjoy the day, but it's not really enjoying the day. I'd rather be running, I would rather be running right now, but you know what? It is what it is. So, uh, I'll give you updates throughout the day. You know how things are going. But as of right now, I can tell you one little thing that I see. Uh, I don't really care about this thing. Is that extender? Uh, that extender battery thing. It's right here on the bottom. It's like, let me disconnect it. This is an extra battery. I thought it would go through the entire day, right? But apparently this thing is being is using battery life while it's connected even with it turned off so this is probably just for emergency purposes so this i will charge back up and not use that as a full-time attachment sorry i will put you back up here on the tripod for a second and i'm going to start with mm, i think that oh, here's a little tripod see the little little, little Tripod I had y'all on earlier. Screws in like so. It's in this box, right? No, it's in the bag. It's in this bag. So we're going to use this. What this attachment is for is so you can screw that camera down onto the tripod. That's all this is for. See, it's got the little screw down on the bottom. That's all that's for. But it will also add a little bit of length. Oop. No. Sorry, I know y'all can't see me. All right, there's two clicks. Boom, Bob's your uncle. We'll add some length to it. I right, like that. And I like that. I like this being on it because it just adds that much more length. So this is about twice the height as the little attachment I just put on there. So I'm going to go ahead, plug this thing up, let it charge. Just know that that battery extender is, I guess, emergency backup. Focus on the battery of your camera. And use that if you're out and about and you need some extra oomph. But not for a full-time connection. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. So let me just, uh, I'm going to start playing with some graphics, see if I can't get anything figured out. 
and uh, just you know, I'll show you what I'm working with. Might even do a time lapse. Maybe not. Might take me a while. I don't know. We shall. <laughs> if you see one, you see one. So I'm still playing with this thing. I got a wide angle lens which I just put on here, so I'm not sure. Let's put the lens on. Lens off. I don't know if it shows anything wider or not, right? I, I... Alright, so right here is cut off and that my uh, vest is a cut off. Oh! You can see it a little bit. All right, so my hand is right. As you can see the vest right there, you can see clearly two reflectors. Take that, okay, it does a little, okay. It does a little bit. <laughs> but I, I didn't realize what time it was. It's like after three o'clock and uh, I mean, I'm parked in a reserve spot. Lady came out and said, hey, big country. I'm like, where, where are you at? What are you talking about? You know me. She was like, she, hey, she just got to do that. I guess she just, I realized that she walked away. I was like, well, maybe she just saw country and she, oh, I'm a big guy. She's a big country and I got bibs on. So maybe I'm like a farmer. I don't know. Or maybe she know me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I didn't realize what time it was. So I went ahead and reserve parking. Um, so yeah, I've been playing with this thing. I'm going to listen to the Alexa stuff. Kermal is about to do her concession speech or whatever you call it. Get whatever. Here's what it is. But I'm starting to get a little hungry, but I want to wait a little while longer so I don't get hungry again later. I think I'm just going to go call it here because I've been playing on the laptop, trying to get this design down, but I haven't done that type of work the, in, a, in a while. So I'm kind of trying to remember, remember the tricks and the tricks of the trade of doing it. Um, this is why it takes me a, a little while to do it. I got to do trial and error and I'm like, ah, I don't work. I delete it all, start over again. So that's me and, and graphics design process. So, but I thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about the, the audio, the camera. I know from the first clip, cause I was watching some settings last night. Uh, so I went ahead and set like my mic gain plus two cause everybody was saying, hey, pick it up. That first clip sounded really loud to me. So I took it down to negative two and I haven't listened to it since. So I don't know if it went too low. Either way, I can adjust the audio and I'm gonna try not to do any audio editing on the on the video this video here until i hear the final product and then uh but when you see it i'm not gonna do no edit, audio editing on this video here uh but give me your feedback on the volume levels and all that and then on the next video i will start uh tweaking that as well but also 4k 4k is an option for those of you that have the internet and the data to be able to stream it if not you can lower it like you need to um but yeah that's it Another day in Houston, I really wasn't planning on. And I would, if I if I had known this and if I had planned this, I could have had everything done. It's what it is. Um, that's part of the trucking life, I guess. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully we get to the place to where I actually have a load. Bye, guys. We'll talk to you later.